Okay, so I'm going to um, click on Apply. Not save, I'm clicking on Apply. Everyone should click on Apply at this point. And then go to the front end and refresh. And where is your article? You will not find your article. Your article is not here. This is a common issue in Joomla. I have created an article. Where is it? So the way Joomla works is that articles do not appear unless there's a way to link to them. Unless there's, say, a menu link to them, or if they're part of a category that's being shown as a blog, there has to be some way to tell Joomla that that article should appear somewhere. And right now, it appears nowhere. Is everybody with me? We have, we have an article we created. We inserted an image in it. We learned how to upload an image from a computer. And now our article is nowhere to be seen. OK. Can I go back to when you uploaded the image? Yes. <laughs> You said it has to have a URL or it's not any good. When you click on the image in the list, um, website, Can I sometimes if you click once, you don't see the, the URL, and then you're like, why isn't this working? So you're just going to make sure you have the URL. Okay. You're, you're shaking your head. Right? You well, I, I found an image, mm -hmm. and I thought I'd uploaded it and everything, and all I get is the word sunny day. I didn't get the image, I just get text. But I named it. OK, so Natasha's going to help with that. Does everyone have any questions about how to put images into an article at this point? Yes. I do have a question about um, the text wrapping. Mm -hmm. I put two pictures in. The first one, it wrapped the text. The second one, it skipped it, and I have a huge space. OK, so click on that image, the second image again. And then right click. Let's go back in here. Right, right click on it. And you're going to see where it says Insert Edit Image on the right click menu. Do you see that? Yeah. Click on that. This is how you edit an image you've already inserted. And now, what does the clear option say up here? And what does the alignment say? I have it lit at its bottom. In the clear, it doesn't let me set it. I think it's because you chose bottom. Try a different alignment. Try left or right. That's the only ones that will work with it. Okay. Nope. What? You chose left or right? OK. So generally, if you choose left or right, then you have the options here. None, both, left. Oh, I see. It's just left and right. Right. Yeah, that's why. OK. So we do that, and that will update that. And if there was text down here, it would wrap around like that. Yes, so it's published by default. I didn't do anything to make it published. But nothing's still showing up on the front end. So that it can be published and still have no way to see it, which is kind of crazy, but that's how it is. It, it's not hidden or anything, but just isn't here. Okay. Because we have to create a link to it. Let's say we put it in left and we want to change it to middle. We cannot manipulate that uh, location from the article. We have to now do what to change that in the future. Uh, you click on the click on the image, right click, insert edit image, and that brings you back to all the options that you had before. You can also try to drag um, an image, like sometimes a little bit, in, but it's not really working very well. But sometimes you can drag an image to a different point in the text, but it's still going to have the same alignment unless you change that. Um, so you click on the image, click on the, right click, insert edit image, go over here, and change how it wraps. You see that? It's not. It's not activating that box. Do you have left or right chosen for the alignment? So you have to choose left or right for that to work. Okay, so I have done both left and right under clear. So you need to get to the. Okay, so. Uh, what? I have no idea. Oh, sides of the element where other elements cannot be situated. That's extremely clear. <laughs> no. It's basically saying, how do you want things to wrap around? Unfortunately, it gives you this preview, which tells you how things are going to wrap around. Oh. And if you don't get to see the URL for the image, you need to do you need, you, you need to click again. Yeah. yeah. Well, Double click. That's only if, if for some reason you click on something and you don't see the URL up on the top. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions about inserting? What? So right. So when you, once you've done that, you, you need to um, scroll down until you you see where it says update. Everyone see where it says update on my screen after you make a change. 
So let's say we moved our key from the right to the left. We wanted to update it. We need to click on update, and that's going to update that. OK, so I'm going to apply my changes. Now, when you're working, you want to apply your changes regularly, just like saving something in Word. Because let's say everything crashes, your article might be gone, which is not good. So you want to apply when you're going to continue working. OK, we're going we're to look at some of the other parameters on here. That's what they call them, parameters on the right-hand side. The author on this site is TNR Global. What, who's the author on your site? Is it TNR Global? Mm -hmm. Yeah? OK, so you, you can change that. But not right here, because you need to have another author set up. We're going to go into users eventually. Access level, public, registered, or special. Most of the information on your website, usually all of it, is going to be public. Public means anyone coming to your website can visit it, can, can see the, the content. They can see the menu item or the article, whatever is there. In this case, it's an article. Registered means that you have to be logged into the website in order to see it. Now, our website doesn't even have a login form. Most small business websites are not going to have a login form. Some will, though. Okay? So if you require users to log in in order to see certain things, and that's what, you, would you would put a login form. It's, remember, it's a module usually. There's a module for login. And then people will be able to log in and see certain content that's restricted to registered users. Special, we're not going to get into, but it has to do with people who have certain permissions but beyond registered. This is what we call access control levels, ACL. Um, and Joomla has very limited access control levels, okay? Basically, ways of managing who can see what on your website. The built-in function is very limited, okay? There are ways you can extend this. If you're really interested in this, you can let me know, and I'll tell you about some of the options that are out there. But what's built in is very simple. Basically, you're going to use public. Occasionally, you're going to use registered, and that's it, okay? Start publishing. Create a date. Create a date's going to be right now unless you change it. You have a question? No. Okay. Okay. So start publishing. Let's say you don't want this article to show up yet, because this article is something that's happening in four weeks. You just want to write it now, and you want to save it, and you want to have it published, and you don't want to worry about it ever again. So you can say start publishing. Start publishing it on June fifth. If you do that, you won't see your article now. So don't do that in reality. Finish publishing. Finish publishing by default is never. But let's say you have an event that's going to happen. You want to write a whole article about it, and you want it to disappear two weeks after the event. And you don't want it to go in and unpublish it again. So you say hey, start on June 5th and finish on June 30th. And on June 30th, that, that thing is going to disappear from your website on the front end. It's still going to be here on the back end, and you can still access it if you need to, but it's not going to be published anymore. Okay? So these are pretty, um, you're not going to use this very much. Usually you're going to stay with a default, um, which is you know, public for access level. Everything's pretty the default there. Um, there are some other parameters that you can look at here. Parameters advanced. Okay? Now, when you scroll over them, they do give you some uh, information. But all these say use global. And that means that we've set up global parameters for this entire website, for every article, the same. And if you want to override them for this particular article, this is where you would do so. Um, for example, if you wanted to show the author name on this one, you would show it. By default, we have that turned off for the whole website. Because most business, small businesses don't want the, the author on each article showing. Like after the title article name, it would say, you know, by George. Um, but you could turn it on just for this article if you wanted to. I just want to kill this image. I don't know how to get rid of it. OK. I'll t no, You're not going to worry about any of this. Metadata information. Um, so some of you are familiar with SEO, search engine optimization. Um, this, by most accounts, has nothing, is not going to help you with your Google search ranking. OK? You can put stuff in if you like. Description is actually more important than keywords. Um, description is sometimes used to display in the Google search results. But um, these are not going to dramatically change your page rank in any way. Um, there's other things you can do. But this is pretty much, if you want to add it, you can. Description and keywords. Description is a description of the article itself, which is like a sentence or two about it. And the reason is, originally, it meant to be for SEO purposes, for search engine optimization. But there's so many people who put all kinds of stuff in there. You know, Viagra, 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 Viagra. So it's just yeah, not very helpful. Double Viagra and stuff like that, uh, which Google basically now learned to disregard whatever text is there. It became too easy to treat Google. Then Google said, oh, thanks, but thanks. Okay. And now those fields are there. You can populate them, but don't rely on this or your SEO.